So one of the things that people who know me from math antics are surprised about when they see me is that I'm pretty tall. I'm six foot five inches tall, which for, for those of you who live someplace like South Korea, that's over 195 centimeters. So you could say it's above average height. I mean, being tall is great. It, it, it really is. But there is, there is one, you know, one main disadvantage and that's that people expect that, you know, things come really easy for you. Like, especially um, athletics, they, they assume that I'd be really good at sports and, um, and that I'd be really fast, that I'd be a really good runner because I have these long legs. But they don't realize that, you know, sure, I have these long legs and I'm tall and everything, but that means there's more of me to get around. So I, <laughs> I am not a great runner. And I learned that very, very clearly when I was in high school. I decided to join the cross country team. Uh, for those of you who don't know, cross country is a running sport where you run for three miles, which for those of you who were born in, I don't know, a country like Thailand, um, that's, that's almost five kilometers. So, um, so yeah, it's a, it's a decent length, but it's not, it's not undoable. And and I figured, you know, yeah, that's that seems like something I could do. So I joined the cross country team, and our very first, our very first meet, I, um, you know, I didn't want to start in the very back. It was a lot of people, and I didn't want to start in the very back and just stay in the back because, like, I mean, how terrible would that be? Like, what what would be worse than that? Starting in the back and staying in the back. Well, well, I found out what was worse than that, and. What was worse than that is starting in the front and then before the race is easy, even halfway over, ending up in the very back. It, oh man, it was so discouraging. I, <laughs> like for 10, 15 minutes, I'm running along and I'm, I'm going, you know, kind of, kind of fast. I, I wasn't saving up my energy for the end. I didn't have any strategy or anything. We, um, I knew you weren't supposed to use all your energy right at the right at the first of the race, but I I didn't think I was. I I was just trying to keep up with everyone, but they just they. Just, it sounds like that bird's laughing at me, but um, well. So like the whole the whole time I'm I'm running and like people are just passing me like just whoo, whoo. I I'm you know barely able to breathe and they're just whoo, 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 right past me and and. But about halfway through the race, people stopped passing me. I was like, I was in the very, the very last. And so in some ways it was a little less discouraging because I didn't have to see people passing me all the time. But it's, it's, it's discouraging being at the end, at the end of the pack. And, but I, I kept going, although I admit I did have to, you know, slow down. I had to like um, walk for a little bit because um, uh, my my lungs. When when I when I run, my lungs burn and my legs burn. It it it, it really hurts. And um, so, for, like for the second half of the race, you know, for part of it, I would walk and um, you know, I'd walk fast, but I I was walking, trying to get my energy back. And then so finally, you know, in between walking and running. Finally, I start seeing signs that like the, the end of the race is about about there. The finish line is coming up. And so it's like, okay, well, finally it'll be over. But then all of a sudden, like I hear steps behind me and this, this guy just comes running, whoo, 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 fast as can be, just blazing past me. That's like, who, what, what, what kind of strategy is that? Who does that? Like, did this person really go slower than me? like this whole race and conserve the energy just so he could like pass me right at the end and be second to last like who what what a bizarre strategy um but you know i mean who am i to criticize another runner strategy i i certainly wasn't running well and so i, I keep going like i i can finally i can finally see the finish line and then i hear some more footsteps behind me and um, and another runner just goes blazing past me just, whoo, 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 whoo. and I'm like what is going on and it starts dawning on me what was going on but I was 
I was hoping that I was wrong. You know, I'm, I'm like low on oxygen. Maybe I'm just not thinking straight. And so I finally get to the finish line and there's someone at the finish line and he like hands me a ribbon and I'm thinking, no, 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 please, please, please just be a participation ribbon. Please just be a participation ribbon. And, but I look at it and I'm like, oh no. So I'm trying to catch my breath to let him know. And I'm like, I'm, I'm not third place from this race. I'm last place from the race before this. And I admit he did his best to not laugh at me, but you know, he was only human. He, he had to laugh just like these birds seem to be laughing at me. But um, so yeah, so I found out that my height is not the advantage people always assumed it was, you know, especially when it comes to running. But after that, and you know, my, my parents did not raise a quitter. So unfortunately for the rest of my team, I stuck out the whole season. I, I, that, that is one situation where I, I should have quit. Everyone would have been better off if I had quit, but I stuck out the whole season and I, I never got good enough to be a benefit to my team at running. But after that was over, I, I, you know, decided to find a sport that, you know, my height would be enough of an advantage to overcome my lack of athleticism. And, and so I saw that they were doing tryouts for volleyball, but I had missed, <laughs> I was like one week late on the tryouts for volleyball, but I was like, well, maybe, you know, who knows? Like, um, I'll, I'll give it a try. So I, I found the coach and went into his office. He was also the Spanish teacher. I went into the classroom where he taught and, you know, I asked, like, I know I'm late, but like, is there any chance that I could like try out for volleyball? And he like, you know, he was like, you know, working on papers at his desk. And he's like, ah. and he like looked up and he like, kept looking up and he's like, uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess we, we could, we could see if you, you could qualify for volleyball. And so even though I knew nothing about volleyball, I, I had to learn everything from scratch. My height was enough of an advantage that I, I got on the volleyball team and I ended up being a benefit to, to my volleyball team. I, and I actually, you know, over, over the next couple of years actually got good and I still play volleyball even though, yeah, I'm, I'm much older now. It's, it's been a while since I've been in high school, but I still love volleyball and I still play like once or twice a week. So may, maybe I'll do a video showing some, some volleyball someday, who knows? But yeah, so height, height is great, but it doesn't, it doesn't make everything easy like so many people think.